All right, we're having burgers for dinner. Um, yeah, so we'll get it started before it gets too dark. Now, some of the things we do make life a little bit easier. There's your burger patties. Get some bacon. Um, Cheese. Um, um, tomato sauce. Mustard. Okay, um, these are a couple of the things we do. Um, not when we're traveling in state not interstate interstate of course depending on which way you go you can't bring fruit and veggies in so be a bit hard but um what we found is just to save up a bit of time and a bit of space is that we'll pre-grate some of our carrots and uh, chop up lettuce for instance uh, put them in a couple of days worth of portions and cry back them in, in bags the handy towel paper uh, just helps keep the moisture uh, so they don't go too soggy and also helps cryovacuum them up. But uh, when, once we open it, I normally cut it from the top and we can fold it up and um, uh, keep them in the, in the bag until we, we um, finish it basically. Or what you can do is we got some of these little nifty things um, that are collapsible. And um, pack that really small, but any leftovers we can put in these as well, and then squish them down to the size we need. So um, if you're looking for containers that don't take a lot of space, um, these are really good. Um, also, we've got like Ziploc bags and all that sort of thing if we really need to. But anyway, uh, the boys want burgers sorry I'll just turn the gas on um, so we'll get back turn on the grill because what we're gonna do is um melt the cheese in the buns because okay. I've got most of the stuff cut up already but um got cheese grater got lettuce uh, carrot, cooked the bacon and the uh, burger patties on the fire. Uh, the boys want some. This is one of our go to meals when we're camping. So, um, well, um, it's easy to do on the grill. The boys love doing it on cooking, flipping the burgers on the grill. So, um, we'll, we will do that. Oh, got a hole in that one. Now last time we made um, nachos, but I didn't get myself organized to actually show you that. But the same concept is that we um, sort of pre-plan our meal. Pre-plan our meal, so we made the mix up and then we cry it. So, um, when it came down to the nachos, what I had to do is open a packet, reheat it, and we did them in the camp oven, but we, uh, we used uh, foil trays, which is really handy. Um, they just fit in there individually and um, makes, it, makes it better. Uh, a lot easier, messy, clean up. Do that. Get my big burger flipper. I should do it. All right, so we've got that on there. It'll warm up. We'll cook our burgers on there. To do so, get these on. Cooking. Got the burger patties on. I'll see how my 
buns are going. It's good. Lay these out like that as we're doing it. So here in the background, the boy's going crazy. Had a big day playing around. So getting a little bit tired and hungry. So I just put some more cheese. Cheese cheese. Yummy cheese. Put it back under the grill for these. Um, so yeah, if we plan uh, dinner, like I was saying before, uh, for up to two weeks we've got certain meals and uh, even if we go longer we'll start to, um, we'll have, we'll have uh, this side normally uh, set as a freezer, this side as a fridge um, and we'll um, pre-make like a bolognese, uh, nacho mix or curry, casserole, a um, uh, burritos or they're, they're our go-to sort of favorites where we normally do and we'll cry back them like this and then we'll freeze them and then uh, put them in in the freezer side of things to take away with us and that way there if we come to camp late just pull out one of those sort of if we know we're going to come to camp late uh, defrost it and then you know we don't have to start cooking uh, from scratch and then you're doing all right like I said, it saves us a bit of time uh, preparing a lot of meals. So we do it for bacon. We do if we go for a couple of weeks, we'll like uh, put it in a Ziploc bag or something like that uh, per meal. Um, or sausages, for instance, is another one we do. Mushrooms, mushrooms especially, they take up a lot of space, so they could pack down really, really good. Really designed on how to cook burgers. I mean, everybody knows how to cook burgers, but I just thought we'll do some posts on what we do at meal times um, and how we do our meals and, and that sort of thing, just to give people ideas on um, what we do and how we do it and what, what we sort of plan. So people will be going, oh, you know, cutting up all that, you know, you don't need to. Well, it's true, but we actually like to sit around and just relax before you know for most of the day and do do the cooking side of things uh, last minute rather than having to um, rush and spend a lot more time actually cooking um, so that's where that comes into it um, okay the buns all toasted getting the lettuce on the photo, I can use it for my sandwiches tomorrow. I knew you were there. I just didn't wrap it up. Pig. Are they not kernel? Here, are you recording? Yep. That through, fold that up. There you go. Done. Okay, get the patties off. Juice box, that's your burger, don't knock it over. Juice box. And 
and that's gonna happen here. Yeah. Believe it or not, there is a system to demand this there. Um, I need a stubby holder, good old Woods Point Hotel. Uh, one of our regular camping spots we used to go to all the time. Um, so this is our burger. Now we're gonna sit by the campfire and eat it. Enjoy. All right, how's your burgers, guys? Good. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting pretty cold, isn't it? Winter camping. Yeah, I love it. Right, okay. awesome. This is probably the best burger I've ever eaten. Got the fire stoked up now. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out the places we visited for yourself, there's more information in the description below. Hit the trailer icon to subscribe and here are some more of our camping adventures.